Okay, so you decided to get yourself a new high roller Yakima rack to put on top of your car. Now, there's a lot of good reasons to get a rack on top of your car because when you put it on the back of your car, you can't do some things like let your dog out of the car or get into the back of your car for a cooler or a cool drink. And so you think, maybe I'll put my bikes on top of the car. So you go and get yourself a high roller rack and it's all good and well until you try to put a bike on, you realize that damn thing is really high. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks on how to get that bike up on top of the car. Now, what you could do is you could take yourself a little sissy ladder around with you and put that sissy ladder on the ground and stand up on it, but then it just wouldn't look too cool. So I'm gonna show you how to do it without a sissy ladder, how to get your bike on top of the car in a high roller rack. Here we go, let's do this. First step is you gotta get the rack ready for the bike. So here's what you do. Put the rack up, but then you're going to, you're actually going to adjust this up about halfway. So what you want is when your bike's up there, you want it to be able to balance on its own without no help from you. All right, so that is that there is ready to receive a tire. I'm gonna undo the back, of course. All right, that's step one, get the rack ready. Okay, step two is that you wanna grab your bike really low because you're putting it really high, right? So you're gonna grab down here low, you're gonna down, grab down here low, get it? You're gonna put this on your shoulder, on your shoulder toward the car. There it is, right there. I'm just gonna walk that up in between the rack there. Push it in, put the back tire up, and then finish putting the front tire in. Just like that, just like so. Now you notice the back tire's not on there yet, but it's sitting up there by itself. Now I can deal with it. All right, step three. Now that the bike is sitting up here by itself, I'm gonna just secure the front tire first. Pull it forward. Lock it into place. Now it's real easy here. I can just lift the back tire in. Lock it down. Ready to go. That's it. All right, so now to take the bike off, all you do is pretty much reverse the order. I'm gonna take the back tire off, set her to the side there. We're gonna loosen this about halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway this time. Release it from the front. Whoa. Now that's just gonna kind of sit there. That'll just kind of sit there without any help from me. That allows me to get down and not knock myself in the head with the bike. So I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna tilt the bike over at this point. That's it. 